Hey, many flash. 28th September 2022. I do sincerely pray that you are all doing well. And thank you to those who reached out to check on me. I sincerely do appreciate it. But uh, it's getting late in the season here and things are getting buttoned up and there's a lot going on. I've never stopped watching. I've been keeping notes and paying attention diligently. And a lot is certainly happening. I wanted to talk about the City of London and how crowned King Charles is going to deal with the financial troubles that we see emerging all around the world. And I want to talk to you about how that relates directly to the City of London, originally Roman, and the walls and the gates and the dragons and the giants and the fires and everything to do with the city of london over the last thousand years it's just insane but it points to the money we all know that the big levers that they're waiting to pull are the money collapse this old system and bring in the new and it's all leading to the mark of the beast obviously but nonetheless, I just want to share in this particular video about this odd thing that happened on the day they buried the Queen. On that day, which incidentally was 777 days exactly after they bombed Beirut on 8-4-2020, which isn't just Obama's birthday, it is the 42 and 42. So this is the tribulation period, 84 months, two 42s, which leads us right down to the generations. Because on the same day the queen was buried, we had 230 pilot whales beach themselves on Tasmania. Now remember, Tasmania is part of the royal crown's territories they are reigning over 14 territories currently there are 14 generations from abraham to david 14 from david to the carrying away and 14 to jesus now think about this that is the exact same time frame on this side of jesus we are in that abraham time hence the abraham accords everything we see going on but 14 you can't get around this you guys on top of the 230 pilot whales we had 14 sperm whales beach themselves just across the water on king island think about that 14 sperm related to the generations right whales which charles was the prince of wales but think about that 14 sperm whales beach on king island on the day of the queen's funeral okay again tying directly to the 14 generations william who is now the prince of wales will be king when charles passes on or abdicates or what have you right so think about that in the 230 pilot whales what did pilot say to jesus before he was crucified are you the king of the jews think about this stuff there is so much mockery going on here it, it really is it's it's insane but the 14 is very very prevalent okay just that's the, the key to this whole thing. 14 sperm whales, 14 commonwealth lands. Charles met with 10 of the 14 last U.S. presidents. He was born on 1114. It just goes on and on and on. So anyway, what that leads me to is Charles's coronation. He will be anointed with an anointing oil that's been in the family. For a long, long time, it's the same pharmacia anointing mixture that Charles I, his namesake, used in 1626. So, this is the important part. The, the base ingredient in this coronation holy oil is an ingredient called ambergris. 
Now, this is just mind-blowing to me. And I got this through Mrs. Many Fish, and she got it from a video that I'm going to get the link to and leave it in the description box, okay? But during his coronation, he is anointed with a very specific oil which base ingredient is a substance called ambergris and what is ambergris it is the vomit of a sperm whale and it is super rare and extremely expensive more valuable than literal gold today i'm going to answer the question what is ambergris Ambergris is found in about 5% of sperm whales and pygmy sperm whales. Um, ambergris is a waxy flammable substance that is created in the intestines of the sperm whales. Up to today it is used um, in perfumes to make the smell last longer, but only in the more expensive perfumes. Um, and it is extremely valuable and that's why it is known as floating gold, because it actually floats on the surface of the water. Which, incidentally, just a week ago or so, Gold closed out the day, it was on the 15th, so 13 days ago, closed out at $1,666, which brings us to Solomon's gold, which brings us to King Charles, because they're mocking and mimicking many attributes of King Solomon. That's what they're doing. And Solomon brought in 666 talents of gold in one year. But just think about that. The ambergris, the only place in the world you can get this, produced in the digestive system of sperm whales. Literally $500,000 a pound for this stuff. And you know what they call it in China? They call it dragon spittle. And the dragon is one of the attributes on the flag of whales. Think about that, you guys. Seriously. <laughs> you just can't get around it. I'm just putting it out there because I know that this leads directly to the Antichrist and the Mark of the Beast and its unfolding. And if you don't know Jesus, call on his name with a sincere, humble heart, knowing you need a Savior, and there ain't no man that's going to save anyone. So, God bless you all, each and every one of you. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 